Hello everyone, this is AK with AK's Garage and today M35X. As you can see I already have the transmission down on the ground. Yes, this is an all-wheel drive. As this is the X bottle. So you see I already have the engine out. Transmission on the ground here. I have the frame here. Sitting down here. I have the new engine that's going in on a, on a hoist. Getting it cleaned up. Got the axles here, starter here, it's going down. Here's the old engine here sitting on the ground. As you can see, I have an oil pan here, and there's another one over here on the ground. So, this engine here had been in, in an accident, and uh, this cross tube here was cracked and bent right in this area. So, uh, I took this off of the old engine there, stuck that over here. You can see the new ones in here, okay? Uh, the oil pan that came, this oil pan came off of that engine over there. But the, in, the oil pan that was on that engine here had a little problem here, so that's why you can see here it's been uh, banged up or something right in this area right here. Like the uh, uh, shaft there, look like the shaft may have rubbed on it or something. So. I snatched that one off just in case it was cracked. So I went on and snatched that one off. And I'm just going to exchange it and put this other one on. So I've been down here getting it cleaned up. Getting all the, all, all the old gasket out of the, the grooves here. Got it all off. Got to get it now. I need to put some air on it. Clean it all up. So yeah, so you see here I got, um, of course I got the alternator off, everything like that. I cleaned all under here pretty good. I'm gonna do it one more time with a light sandpaper, Just scuff it a little bit, and that'll be that'll be it there. Put some Honda Bond on it. I love that stuff, Honda Bond. Um, this one, this side right here, this one here came off of the old engine over there uh, because whoever took it out of the car that had an accident, they cut it right around in this area here. So I went and put the. Uh, well, my, honestly, my lady put this one on. She did this whole side right here. She did this. And she did all this. Uh, this is a booger to get off. You take the screw out and then try to pull this out. It, it's, it's tough to get this out. It took a lot of work. I put a lot of heat in this area here to cook it, to get this out, to put a new seal in there. And also, I backed it up with some silicone. I love silicone. I did not put Honda Bond here because Honda Bond doesn't play around. You'll never get off if I put Honda Bond in there. But, so I just put some regular silicone in there along with a new seal. Uh, also here, I put uh, Honda Bond is in there. Honda Bond there, Honda Bond right here. That's gonna seal it up. Should never leak water at all because of that. So that's that. Um, I'm gonna check out this rear main seal. It looks really good here. You can see back there. Um, I will pull this off because I am holding it up with this. So I'm I'm going to pull it. I'm going to pull this off. I don't know if it's bent at all. Uh, I could pull it off of that one and get it on here. But I do want to check this because I want to see if it's leaking at all. If it is, I'm going to put a new um, rear main seal there. Uh, the front main seal looks good on here also. I might go in there. Now that one looks a little greasy. It looks a little greasy in there. You see the line? So um, I'm going to put a rear main, I'm going to put a front main seal here. Um, Put a seal there to make sure that doesn't leak there uh, and that's gonna be it on there the valve covers on this engine looks like it was leaking a little bit so valve cover i'm going to put a valve cover gasket there make sure that's all clean uh the other side i think it looks exactly the same yeah so yeah as you can see you see so i'm going to put a valve valve cover here so valve covers i'm put on there Front seal I'm gonna put on there and maybe the real seal not sure, but it doesn't it really doesn't look like it was leaking at all under there. So Yeah So this is AK as you can see I've been away for a little bit, but I've been working I just haven't been videoing anything. So I think I, I went through a Honda CRV While uh, I've been away knocked that out the, uh, This one had uh, one uh, cylinder number four was dead on this so I put another Honda motor in it. This motor here is actually um, 
this one has a bad Tommy belt in it and it busted and I bought it from uh, a yard saying it was a good motor and started to put it together and realized that the Tommy belt was busted that means it's got bent valves this is no good uh, the, the motor that had a, a busted seal I mean busted number four it was this one right here this one number four was bad piston number four was bad so ripped that out put another one in I put one from Japan in and uh, yeah so if you do one from Japan you do have to do a modification to make that run correctly uh, there's some people that shows it online and you, you can look it up in some forums and stuff like that but um, if you do get one that's from Japan you need to do your research on it it is not just gonna go in and crank up and run good so do your do your, um, your investigation on it before you do that so anyway this is AK, AK's Garage, and I got more coming. I'm just been uh, in here grinding, working, and just not putting videos out.